Welcome back to Box of Shorts. This is the third video in our quantitative chemistry series. Today we are going to look at moles and MR. A reminder before we get started, put your phone away, close tabs. If you have any open, make sure you've got your periodic table, make sure you've got a calculator, and make sure that you have uh, the booklet if you want it. In the first video, and this video might not make any sense to you at all if you haven't watched the first video and the second video. In the first video, we looked at calculating MR and how we work out a formula mass from the periodic table. In the second lesson, we looked at this mole number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Today, I'm going to try and explain to you where that number comes from, why it's important. So I want you to imagine that I've got a beaker like this. And I put the beaker on what's called a balance a weighing scale right it's one of those digital things it's got like a screen like that that tells you how much things weigh use them for cooking or whatever i'm really sorry about this like light square by the way i'm working in a room that has a skylight it should be okay i take this beaker is empty so it's currently showing 0, 0 0.0 grams I take an atom of lithium. Now, an atom of lithium is incredibly tiny. So I did a little speck there, but it's even smaller than that. It's impossibly tiny. It's so small, you know, there's very few, you know, we can't see them with a microscope. We have to use incredibly specialized equipment to even figure out where they are, what they're doing. I take one atom of lithium and I put it in the beaker. Now, obviously, Nothing shows over there. It shows as zero because it's too small for the balance to be able to pick up. Okay, fine. So I'll add another one. It's still too small. It's still showing zero. So I had three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's still showing zero. I start adding hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands. And eventually this number starts to creep up as I add millions of them. I'm adding millions and millions of atoms. They're so tiny, but I'm adding millions, so many of them that eventually this number is starting to creep up and it goes up and it goes up and it hits a one gram and I'm adding millions more and it hits two grams and I'm adding millions more and three grams, four grams, etc. And eventually it hits a number and the number that it hits is exactly 7.0 grams, seven grams. And at that point, I stop and I count up the number of atoms. And I've now got like a little pile of these atoms, millions and millions of them. And I count them. And I go one, two, three, four, five, six. And I keep counting and keep counting and keep counting and I keep counting. And eventually I finish counting, I count the last one. And I find that I have 6.02 times 10 to 23 atoms. Now, that's Avogadro's number. Why seven grams? Seven. See there? What that number does is it tells you the mass of one mole of atoms of that substance. So if I take that many atoms of lithium, it will weigh seven grams. If I took that many atoms of beryllium, it would weigh nine grams because each beryllium atom is heavier than each lithium atom. If I took that many atoms of magnesium, it would weigh 24 grams because each atom of magnesium is heavier than each atom of lithium. So 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms of any element has a mass equal to that element's element's mass number. 
That's why that number is so useful to chemists. I said to you in our last video that this number is really useful to chemists. And the reason why it's useful is because it bridges the gap. It bridges the gap between atoms which are incredibly tiny and we can't like even comprehend how small they are. And it bridges the gap from them to masses, to weights, to things that we can actually measure, quantify, put numbers to. So let's say I took another example. I took water, H2O. And again, I have a beaker and a balance like that. Now, H2O molecules look like this. An atom of oxygen, an atom of hydrogen, an atom of hydrogen. And their MR equals 16 plus 1 plus 1 equals 18. That's what we worked out in our first video together. Oxygen is 16, hydrogen is 1, hydrogen is 1. And let's say I add one molecule to the beaker. Again, it will show zero. I keep adding, I keep adding millions and millions and millions and millions and millions until eventually I've added 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. So of this whole thing, I'll have a little bit of water there and it'll have a mass of 18 grams. That's the magic of this number. That's how it works. Now what that means Essentially, remember, this is one mole. Is that I can turn all of this into an equation. Let's say, instead of adding 6.02 times 10 to the 23, I added twice that. So I add two moles. What would the mass over here be? Well, when it was one mole, it was 18. So when it's two moles, it's 36 grams. I can actually turn that into an equation because what I've done here to work out the mass, say, is I've done the MR, this number, multiplied by the moles, which in this case was 36 equals the MR, which was 18, multiplied by 2. Let's do another example. So if I had, say, CO2, carbon dioxide, so that's C, O, O, like that. This has an MR of 16 plus 16 plus 12 which gives me 44. And again, I can weigh it out. Now, if I put in one mole, that will have a mass of 44 grams. So let's say instead of putting in one mole, I put in Four point eight three moles. Well, to work that out, how much? So, what mass would, would I show there? I just do forty-four times four point eight three, and that gives me two one two point five two. And I got that by doing forty-four times four point eight three. Because remember. If one mole is 44, 4.83 moles has to be 4.83 times that number. Remember, one mole equals 44. 4.83 moles equals 4. Point grams, 4.83 times 44, which gives me this number. It's just another way of doing the same thing, right? Very, very straightforward. Now, traditionally, chemists don't write the equation like this, mass equals MR times moles. 
Because traditionally, chemists write it as if they're trying to work out the number of moles. Now I said to you that you had mass equals MR times moles. We can just do a simple rearrangement of that. And I'm not going to show you how to do a linear rearrangement now because you should be able to do that from maths. But to work out moles, you do mass over MR. And this is the form of the equation that chemists know and learn. And it's the form of the equation that we will use when we do some calculations. So let's do some of those. Let's say I had, I don't know, um, three moles of, um, oh, I don't know, sorry, no, let, we'll start, sorry, I apologize, because we're going to work out from masses, we're going to work out moles. So let's say I had a question that said, how many moles in 30 grams of CO2? So I use, oh, sorry, you can't see that at all. My apologies. So I use a Descus model to help me answer equation questions. If you don't know what that is, that's fine. I've got a video explaining it and I suggest you watch that first. Otherwise this will definitely not make any sense to you. So I write down every time D E S C U. And we're going to skip the S for the minute. Data, D stands for data. And in this case, I've got my mass, which equals 30 grams. My MR, it's CO2. So I can work that out. I've got one carbon, which is 12. And I've got two oxygens, which is 16. And that gives me 44. My equation, moles equals mass over MR, 30 divided by 44. Oh, sorry, I apologize, I skipped a step. That's the equation that you write. You then do your substitute. Moles equals mass, which is 30, divided by the MR, which is 44. You run that through your calculator, and you do 30 over 44, and that gives me this horrible recurring number. I'm just gonna write 0 0.68 moles. We don't have a unit because it's just a number. Okay, You could, if you want, write 0 0.68 moles, but you don't need to. And there you've just picked up two or three marks in an exam. Let's try one more that I'll do for you, and then you can try one yourselves. So let's say my question was, How many moles in 175 grams of Na2CO3, sodium carbonate? D for data. So what data do I have? I've got a mass. So I'm just going to write down all the letters, D, E, S, and C. And I don't need a U for units. We're not going to worry about anything else for the minute. Mass. <coughs> 175 grams. The MR, and I'm going to write a comma of Na2CO3 equals, well, I've got two sodiums, so each sodium is 23. Carbon is 12, and then oxygen is 16, and I've got three of them. Use my trusty calculator. 16 plus 16, it gives me 106. Equation, moles equals mass over MR. Substitute, so my mass here is 175. My MR is 106. Calculate that. And that gives me 1.65 moles. Done.
Okay, time for you to try an example. And by the way, if you want like those worked examples written down somewhere to refer to, then just pause the video and copy them down. Let's have you try one. And you can try, um, how many moles in 250 grams of, let's go for MGCL2. Pause the video, work it out, press play. Okay, you should only now be uh, listening to my voice if you have done that question. D E S C. How many moles? So I've got mass equals 250 grams, and I've got an MR of, you can write of or a comma, MgCl2. And I've got magnesium, which is 24, and Cl is 35.5, and that equals, oh, sorry, I put times in by accident, so easy to make mistakes, 95. And that's done. 2.63 moles. If you got that right, well done. If you didn't, make sure you have a look back at my working, see what I did. And here are some more questions for you. Okay, work those out for me, please. Pause the video, have a go, then press play. Okay, so you should not be listening to my voice now unless you've worked those out for yourselves. Reminder, if you don't do this, you are wasting your time. Here are the answers. Pause the video, mark your work, go back if you need to. <clears throat> Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes now. Now of course, sometimes we'll be asked to work out the mess. So let's say there was a question. What is the mass of three moles of H2O? Of water. Okay. D E S C U. Data. What have I got? I've got uh, moles moles equals three, and I've got the MR of H2O, which is one plus one plus 16, which equals 18. My equation, moles equals mass over MR. Substitute, and I get three equals uh, mass over 18. Now you should all know how to solve that as an equation. If you just imagine mass was like X, you just times both sides by 18. So you get three times 18 equals mass, which equals X. Right? So if you had three equals X over 18, you just multiply that up onto that side. You should be able to do that from maths. Technically, it's in the year six national curriculum. So you definitely should be able to do it. And three times 18, get my trusted calculator, gives me 54. And my unit, because it's a mass, it's grams. Done. Once you've got that down as an example, We'll do one more, and then you can have a go at a few more yourselves. 
So um, let's try what is the mass of 14 moles of, say, CO2. Pause the video, do that one, press play. Okay, you should only now be listening to my voice if you've done that question. And again, if you've not done that question, you're wasting your time. Data, I've got moles equals 14. I've got MR of CO2 equals 44. Equation, moles equals mass over MR. My substitution, 14 equals mass over 44. Calculate 14 times 44 equals mass. Six, one, six. So my unit, done. Got that done, well done. Have you got that correct, sorry, well done. If you didn't, then I suggest you take a really careful look at my working, go back in the video if you need to. Oh, sorry, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to share my screen and you can have a go at these questions now, please. You should pause your video, do the questions. Okay, you should only now be listening to my voice if you have done these questions. And again, if you've not done them, you're wasting your time. There are the questions and here are the answers. If you've got all those correct, well done. If you didn't, I suggest you go back, lay it out really slowly. I suggest that many of your mistakes might be because you didn't lay it out properly. Make sure you've got the unit on the end there as well. Final question today will be something like this. So let me move that where you need to work out the MR. Have a go at that yourself. Pause the video and press play when you're ready. So in this case, we've been given the mass, which is one gram. And we've been given the moles, which is 0 0.00568. We need to work out the MR. Moles equals mass over MR. Substitute 0 0.00568 equals one over the MR. So what we do with these ones is we flip them. So you end up with MR equals one over 0 0.00568. And you put, plug that into your calculator, you get 176.06. And there's no unit for that either, because it's an MR. If you got that done, correct, well done. I'm not gonna give you more calculations to do like this, because the principle is exactly the same. I do remind you, we're now at the end of the video. Well done if you made it this far. We have more videos to come. The next video is the most important process that we need to do as part of this unit. It's also, it's a bit complicated. I'm gonna give you a really nice method and step-by-step -step to get you through. Please do make sure you subscribe. Thank you for listening.